Why would you get turned down for vehicle finance? In today's episode, we're going to dive into the five main reasons. As always, Eddie Mahane and Anna Marie Meyer. Thank you. Are you guys ready to give some real value? Yeah, yep. yes. let's get them approved. Let's get into it. Let's get them approved. first area that could negatively affect your application is your income. Definitely. Ladies first. Um, obviously you need an income to be able to apply for finance. One salary. that you can prove. That, exactly that. Salary that goes into your bank account. You have to have a salary slip for that. You need to pay all the necessary deductions. And then you can't skip a month and think you're going to get finance. If you're a weekly earner, if there's a week or, or two that you didn't receive a payment, you will not get finance. The bank wants consistency. What about, a, what about a side hustle? I've got a small business here, small nana business here on the side. You're more than welcome. It's additional income. You can use it as long as it goes into your bank account. There we go. With the correct description. There we it go. can't be from lovey or... From lovey. No, you <laughs> can't you, do you that. You see that on some statements. <laughs> we see that quite often. <laughs> what did so. you have to do for lovey to get that <laughs> income into your no, account? No, we're not asking Okay, questions. we don't go that no, far. No, we okay. don't go that far. Okay, understood. But it's got to be legit. So if you do sell something, a product... Um, use the invoice numbers because that's what you need to do um, and you you must be able to provide not only bank statements but other invoices or contracts or something yeah. but so, income into your bank. So I, I drive a taxi and the bank has a tendency of taking my money so now I bank under my mattress but I can show them all the money I've, I've been saving if they want to see proof I have the money it's there. I saw you were walking, when you walked in, you were walking like this. Is it because the bed, the bed is not, okay. Now we know why his alignment is out. So that can I get finance? No, you can't get finance. But that's the reason. You used the example of taxi. That is why we've got taxi finance. Yes. Where taxi finance will work on the contract based on his route. Yes. So there is obviously a bit of deviations. Now that is one of them. Yeah. But normal, us... Salary into your bank account if it's a self-employed bank statements, but you need to be able to prove the money with a contract with bank statements and not from Leafy. And no. not from Leafy. Not from Leafy. No. Great. Second reason why the bank could potentially say no to your application is because of a missed payment. Yeah. Would you like to grab that? One? Yeah. Remember, every month when you pay your bills, you're actually sending a message to your ITC. Yes. You, you, you're telling lenders out there that might be able to help you in any situation, be it vehicle finance, if you're buying a car, whatever you need to finance. Lenders will always have reference from your ITC. They'll be able to go in there and check, okay, this guy wants this uh, amount of money from us. How does, how does he pay? Does he pay late? Does he pay on time? Does he pay at all? So what message you want to send to your lender is up to, it's up to you. It's up to what you're doing every month. Do you pay on time? You sometimes decide, nah, I'll see this one next month. Oh, you see? Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so you need to always, always make sure that you leave a very good reference there. I, I, and pay it before the yeah. due date. Yeah. yeah. I, I think a lot of people make that mistake. I think the, the, the lenders, the banks, um, see the historical data as future value. Yeah. So whatever you've done in the past, you have a tendency to do in the future. So if you've skipped, the chances of you skipping our payment is also big. And I mean, the risk in, uh, with vehicle finance is most, most probably the second biggest amount you can try to of loan course. from the bank. Of course. So it would have to definitely verify before you can get an approval or a deadline. And it's not a fixed asset, so they can't physically walk there and say, okay, this is the house we're going to repossess. The people are creative. They... They I decide to move to Botswana. <laughs> oh, yeah. and then, so the risk is higher. Yeah. Make sure that the payments are always paid on time. Yeah. Excellent. Thir third reason is um, the actual vehicle. So if you don't mind, I'll grab that one. So either the vehicle is too, the installment rather, is too much for your income. Yeah. We had an episode on how much we can actually afford, and that's roughly about 25% of your Cross income. Yes. Um, so either the vehicle's installment will exceed that, which is in direct bridge of the NCA, either that or the vehicle's equity is too high 
according to what the bank allows it. So it differs from dealership to dealership. Some dealerships are allowed 110, 120, 130, sometimes up to 140%, the actual retail value of the vehicle. But if the equity exceeds the allowed percentage on that specific vehicle, then the bank also might decline you. So it's a little bit more technical, but it goes, then it's not me as a consumer's fault. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's the vehicle. The vehicle is a, a little you chose, bit expensive. Yeah, and your salary in comparison. The, the age as well. And the, the age. The age of the, the age vehicle. Yeah. Definitely, yeah. So um, the car is old, yeah. yeah. If I remember, I think the bank is mostly, um, it's most likely to, to finance a rather 10 year, or 10 year old or newer vehicle. Yeah, yeah. And also, let's face it, the bank sees you as a risk. So, if you are right there smack bang in the middle, we're not talking like corporate clients that can finance a 100 year old car, it doesn't matter. If you're right there in the middle, you know, everyday person, you're a risk. The risk of them recovering more money from an auction if they have to repossess the car on a newer vehicle is, is smaller. If it's an older vehicle, they're not going to get all their money back. Okay, perfect. Credit score. You are an expert in credit score. <laughs> you, um, Eddie basically touched it a bit on the payments because yeah. that's exactly where you make it up. Make sure your monthly accounts, bills are paid on time. The ones going off on debit order, make sure your salary is in your account. If you ever jump between companies, that is the first thing you need to consider because you used to be paid on the 25th, yeah. your account's going off on the 28th, and now suddenly the new company only pays your salary on the make 31st. You the need time. to make arrangements up front, because that is credit score. Um, and then obviously what kind of accounts you have. Make sure upgrade maybe to a credit card or a check account and step away from the savings. Lift up your but score. That will lift up your score. But in total, if your scoring is not on average, you will not get that finance. 100%. That is one of the biggest triggers. So I wanted to check with you. If, if the banks knows me very well, they know in a month's time, I get to take two small loans, but I pay them. I pay them all the time. I have one big loan with the banks, but every month I, I at least borrow once or twice, sometimes three times. Right? How does this affect me? Does this, does this prove to the bank that I'm very good, I can always take the money and pay them very well? No. That means your salary, you can't survive on it. It's a great question yes. because it, we get it daily. Daily, daily. Yeah. And that means your salary is not enough. Because you live on your salary, you need to make a... Um, a loan in the middle of the month, yes, you pay it off, but maybe just one month skip it and don't yeah. do it yeah. and get back on track. Not, but people with those through. various little accounts, they tend to have a very low, sc um, low score. And the banks don't like to borrow money because it, it, it's, it's unstable. It is yeah. unstable. It's a bit unstable. I think in closing, a very important thing as South Africans, as, as people, I mean our culture, our diverse culture loves vehicles. Yeah. We all want to drive the GTI. We see it yeah. daily. The youngsters come there. What What are you interested? A Verpa. You're like, okay, cool. But you're like 19 years old. I want a Verpa. Yeah. And then the bank declines it for one of those reasons. I think a great start will be the bank is regulated. So they understand that if you buy this vehicle, you have to pour fuel. 19 years old. You have to have money to pay your insurance. You have to have money to buy food. And then your target audience is getting a girlfriend with that car. You need money for that first date and the rose. So if you're gonna be spending all your money on installment, it's not fair. So start where you are actually comfortable in a position where you can survive. You can actually enjoy the car and drive it. Definitely. You, you can also spend more time at home because it's very expensive to spend time on, on the on road. The you, you'll definitely need more loans. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. Awesome topic. I, I, I really, really enjoyed it. I hope it brings the uh, viewers value. I hope we answered most of your questions. And uh, if you enjoyed this type of uh, content, if you enjoyed the topic, hit the thumbs up button also. Subscribe. And ring the bell. Let's ring the bell. Thank you very much and take care everybody. Bye-bye.